Well, we're, uh, we're rolling out and I found my ice picks. Wear these around your neck. They pull apart and uh, gives you at least a fighting chance to get out of the uh, out of the water if you get if you get uh, in a bad situation, which I've never yet. So hopefully, hopefully it'll remain that way. But I actually <clears throat> I actually need to run a bunch of errands before uh, before I get to the ice today. I need some propane, uh, maybe something for lunch out there. Uh, I gotta go to Home Depot for a furnace filter. <laughs> fun stuff like that but anyways we are at least headed out I absolutely hate this place you never you never leave here thinking to yourself wow what a what a great experience that was it just never happens <laughs> but I need like 20 different weird things so it's like a one-stop all I guess I'm gonna suck it up just this once hey we're gonna see what's sitting down in here I'm driving by anyway 255 and 111 I think. I'm gonna pull in. Why not? I'd like to know the story behind that. Is it WJ Holtman? WJ Holtman I think it says. what it is about these high hood ones that I really like it's maybe because you don't see them all that much anymore they are pretty cool though nope. all right time to go find some ice All right, one last detour here. I gotta stop in there at uh, the Medina Farmers Exchange to Keller Meats and pick up some, uh, they have the best beef sticks you've ever tried in your entire life. And they're gonna be pretty tasty out on the ice today. So I gotta, gotta run in here real quick and, and pick some up. Come on now, tell me those don't look like the most awesome things ever. I've never had these beef strips before, but they can't be bad either. See, this is why I'm fat. Get ready to cross over the CSX line from Leicester to Sterling. Always hope when I cross over this line that the rails are shiny, but I doubt it. Nope. All rusted up. Still maintaining them. Once in a while, you'll see like uh, where a high railer has been on there, but I'd love to know the story why they're not using that section anymore. Headed over to Seville to pick up uh, bait. Gonna get a bunch of wax worms. Crossing over the uh, the CSX line again. Just a little further south than where I just was, just south of Chippewa Lake. This guy runs a little bait shop out of his out of his uh, property here, the bait shed minnows crawlers he's got waxies so we're gonna we're gonna stock up look at all those minnows you wow. love worms and minnows <laughs> you had to come to the bait shop starting her off right yeah I bet that's just funny. That's all she she really just likes to play with them. Last time I took her fishing we had minnows, she just spent Oh, they spent right, the whole so. time. <laughs> yeah, spent I mean, the whole time. Yep. you know, she's That's fine. What That's what do. you're supposed to do. So yep. it'd have to be my retirement gig, just selling bait. That would be awesome. I have a little bait shop. A little unnecessary loud truck noise here. All my stuff. <laughs> She gets it. 
Um, yeah, so we just stopped at the bait shop and they were basically just about sold out of wax worms. We got the last two things. It's a good thing we uh, stopped when we did. Man, that doesn't look good. Well, number one, there's nobody here. And it looks like that middle is open. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we might not be fishing here after all. Eh, this is going to be, uh, this will be interesting. It's not, it's, it is open out there. Yeah, the, the ice is still not fantastic. There's open water over there still, which bothers me a little bit, but there's a channel that kind of runs through the middle of this lake where the water moves, but we're, we got some, some other people here, uh, this guy's going out and then this guy just stopped to see what's going on but uh over there right there was not a lot of ice probably three inches and i'm probably on about four or five right here and we're trying to work our way somewhere over that way uh, where it gets just a little deeper but uh my cousin's going to grab the uh the auger so we can get a better uh, feeling for exactly how thick the ice is because I'm busting through with the with the spud bar, but when when it takes about five or six big whacks, and it kind of blows the whole bottom of the ice out right where where it goes through, so it's hard to get your hand in there and get a good feel for how exactly thick it is. That wind is cold out here. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It definitely doesn't give you a warm, fuzzy feeling. Not for, I mean, sitting on a bucket maybe, I don't know. But for two guys in a shanty and all the the gear, eh, I don't know. I don't want to be stupid and unsafe about things, you know? Well, I know, but not, not jeopardizing <laughs> safety. Uh, if it's not too much better than what it is, I don't know, maybe we should check out Ben's place. One of the one of the quarry ponds or something. That's kind of what I'm thinking, because I just busted a hole right there and it was probably I don't know, maybe three inches. <laughs> it wasn't good. I mean, for for what we're doing, it's fine, but but to put the, the weight of the shanty and two guys and everything on a little spot, mm, probably not the smartest thing in the world. This is where I'm gonna set up. It's not too far offshore. This isn't real deep in here. It's kind of a big weed bed. This other dude, he 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 went out exploring that way, and I I don't know. There wasn't enough to set a shanty out there. You could you could uh, punch through with a couple of whacks of that spud bar. So, but this is about four solid inches right here. It's just probably not the best spot, but uh, we're gonna give it a try here for a while. So the shanty here, it basically just just folds over, like just folds over that way. And then it kind of pops up. It only takes about a minute to, to set it up, but I got to get all the crap out of there before I do that. So that's what I'm going to do now. Well, it is definitely not ideal, but I am set up. It's just, the ice around is just, just not quite thick enough to really go adventuring. And I'm only sitting on about three and a half, four foot of water here, but this is a big weed bed, so there could be, you know, fish coming coming through here. So I, I haven't given up uh, not catching anything. But uh, if you wanted to just sit on a bucket somewhere, you could you could get a lot more adventuresome than what I'm willing to do. I want to sit in the shanty and eat my lunch and and uh, maybe catch some fish. We'll see. But uh, anyways, I'll give a quick little tour of everything here. Uh, this is the inside obviously and that's the vex that's looking that's telling me the bottom is like right around three foot four foot 
And I got all my crap in here. I got the little propane heater set up. And it'll, this thing's actually like made out of a quilted material. It'll, just that little heater in this kind of temperature, it'll pretty much blow you out of this thing as far as uh, temperature goes. And uh, yeah, we're just, I'm going to get buttoned up. I'm going to get zipped in and hopefully start fishing.